what are you buying on the equity side, given the, uh, the level of the euro now and where you think it's going? Oh, well, I'm buying uh, large European stocks. Uh, as the euro falls, their sales are going to improve, uh, uh, particularly in the States, uh, United Arab Emirates, other places that basically use the dollar. And also, I think we're seeing a dance played between the ECB, Berlin, and Paris and Rome over who moves first in this grand bargain that uh, Draghi outlined at the Jackson Hole Summit. Whereby how, how dangerous is this game, do you think? I think it's, it's very dangerous, and I think we're going to see more. We're going to have to wait for, for more bad data before the, the players finally see the necessity of moving. And that primarily means uh, Germany reflating, going easy on its honest austerity, and allowing uh, Paris and Rome to go easy on their austerity. In return for that, Paris and Rome need to engage in structural reform. And when those bits are in place, then Draghi will say, right, here goes quantitative easing. But I would actually argue that uh, what they really need to do, uh, ECB, the easy thing is just go out and buy US Treasuries, pull down the euro, and uh, that would be a significant uplift to the eurozone economy. Okay. Um, how worried are you by the, uh, this unrest in Hong Kong? I am quite quite worried. If I, I think the Chinese government, the mainland Chinese government, would be best to pull away right now, basically talk to the protesters, perhaps give them what they want. The message from Taiwan is that uh, whenever the Chinese government act fierce on the Taiwanese just before an election, lo and behold, they go and elect somebody who is even more anti-mainland China than, the, than they were going to anyway. So uh, my history suggests that their cleverest policy would be to sort of back down and negotiate. OK, and, and, and where that fits in with the other geopolitical um, tension uh, and what that means for, for, the, for the investor, where, where, where do, where do you, where do you, what are you telling your, your clients? Um, uh, love the things you hate. Uh, I've been rereading uh, uh, Nassim Taleb's book, the, the Black Swan, and it's quite interesting what he says about uh, shock events of a geopolitical nature or, or economic policy nature. And in summary, the, the, what you need to do is keep perhaps up to 90% of your portfolio, very boring stuff, perhaps a multi-asset fund if you're a private investor, and 10% by non-consensus. So uh, that would suggest you might be buying Syrian tourism stocks now, for instance. It sounds bizarre but put enough little bets in place with that 10% and some of them will make you enormous sums of money. And